Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. I've been getting a lot of questions. I wonder if we get new people on the website. They always ask, you know, on your personal charts, what's the black arrow mean? What's the blue arrow mean? Why is there a, a blue horizontal line on the chart? What are these things telling me? Uh, it's a good question. And so rather than answering them repeatedly, I'd just make a video and, and uh, put it on the website so everybody can view it for themselves. Uh, basically, we're looking right now at the UUP chart. Now, I keep all of my charts, there's about 20 of them, uh, on the free website, my personal charts, both the short term, which would be the three month daily charts, as well as the long term, which would be the two year weekly charts. And I keep my charts up there so that you can see what I'm looking at on each chart. I'll, sometimes I'll annotate them with breakouts and uh, support and resistance lines and things like that. Um, but the, the information that will always be on the chart, no matter what the chart is, is anytime I see a, a technical signal indicating a buy opportunity, and you'll be noted, notice that in the case that the arrow is pointing up, and if the arrow is pointing down, then it's of course the exact opposite telling I see a sell signal here, um, and that's that's something that helps people. But remember, uh, whenever you're looking at them, people ask, well, why do you have them black sometimes and blue at other times? If it's black, it simply means that if the following day gave me a higher high, in this particular case, because we're talking about a bullish situation, if the following day gave me a higher high than the previous day's candlestick formation, which it did, I mean, from the, uh, it doesn't have to be the end of the day. It can be the very uh, open the following day. If I get higher than here by even one penny, it's confirmed. At that point in time, you'd be a blue arrow following that, that uh, trade. And then we'd start to advance the stop once we got the pullbacks. We'll get to the stops in a minute. So in this particular case, we do up here, we have a sell signal. We get confirmation. You see the lower low. Even by one penny, doesn't matter. And then there would be a sell. And then you'd see that again. The black arrow shows another setup is formed here, and then confirmed here. And now you have a black arrow indicating another setup is formed here. But all of these are telling you to the downside, not to the upside. And at the same time, as we start to uh, see this develop, uh, what we'll do is take a stop loss limit. Like when this particular situation happened here, you get this. Uh, um, signal indicating that we could have a reversal to the upside here. What we did is after we got confirmation here, we took a blue horizontal line, this one to be precise, and we put it right here. That's indicating where the technical stop would be, where it would make sense from a technical perspective to place a stop loss limit. Then as price rallied, we continued to leave the stop in, one, in place. And then when the next pullback came, we watched it. The next bounce told us this was the low point. So we take the stop here, which we did, and we advance it to this point. And again, that would be the technical place to leave the stop. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, then if the price had continued to move higher, we'd be fine with that. And then the next pullback, next high, we'd take the stop and we'd advance it on up like this. That's uh, not what happened in this particular case. So what's uh, uh, happening here is we had this move up here and then we just kind of kicked around sideways, stopped ourselves out and bounced back around. That was fine. We just locked in our gain because we didn't want price activity to reverse back and er eliminate or erase our gain. So which is what would have happened if we didn't, hadn't advanced the stop. So anyway, that's what's going on. When you see those blue horizontal lines, it simply indicates where we either are technically seeing a stop loss limit or where uh, we were uh, last uh, bullish before we got stopped out. And then in this particular case, the same thing happened on the sell side. We started to see the sell side. The, the blue horizontal line was here originally. And then, of course, as we got uh, further advanced, we advanced the stop. As you can see, it's basically pretty simple. Arrow pointing up indicates a technical signal to the upside. Arrow pointing down indicates technical signal to the downside. Confirmation would be blue. Uh, very simple. But there are many different reasons why we would mark a chart. Don't uh, a lot of people just think that, well, all he does is he looks for a, a hammer candlestick formation and he, he would buy and a, a, a shooting star signal and he would sell. It's actually not that simple. There's very many different reasons uh, why I might uh, see a bullish signal or a bearish signal. We teach at the free website at perfectstockalert.com various different uh, trading uh, techniques and the tutorial uh, video series under the trade school section. Again, it's 100% free website, so you can check it out whenever you like. But uh, in there, you'll, you'll learn very many uh, different uh, tricks. And in this particular case, what signaled the uh, reversal to the upside wasn't a hammer candlestick and an uptrend because you weren't in an uptrend. You actually had price doing this number here. Let me get the tools out. You had price making high point, low point, lower high, lower low. So how did I know this was the bottom? Well, the way I did in this particular time, if you look, clean that chart up, if you look at the Bollinger Band lines here, you can see this little blue line here and, and up here at the top. If you look at the bottom one, you'll notice we closed well below the, the uh, Bollinger Band line here. Um, and then that's about, I'd say about two thirds of the candlestick below that. Then over here, we get an entire candlestick below the Bollinger Band line right here, right? 
right? that it hadn't happened before. So that's interesting to take note of. We're seeing uh, the moment to the downside was had increased from one point to the other. And then if you look at the following bounce, you can see we just come around here, get the right tools out again. We bounce up here and we come back down and we do not, don't even come close to the Bollinger Band line. That indicates a shift. You just see momentum to the downside has weakened. That means momentum to the upside had increased and therefore you'd be looking for a reversal. Now that coupled with the uh, hammer candlestick formation was plenty of, of signal to uh, look for and move to the upside. Now there's lots of tricks like that that we teach at the free website at purposestockart.com so that you can learn to spot the opportunities uh, rather than uh, try to um, catch them. Uh, let me get the right tools off. Rather than try to catch them after they run, run up on you, so you can keep. Rather than if you'd come up here and say, well, uh, someone told me to look for breakouts. Okay, well there's a breakout. And if you've gone and bought here, where's your stop? Well, actually, technically, the stop should have been way down here. Uh, so if you're buying here, this is your risk, and that's that's not cool. So the way we do it, it gives a better entry opportunity. It gets us in earlier, but it also gives us a tight stop. So in the situation here, we would have been uh, buying at this point here with a stop right here. This is our risk, and this is our gain potential. For those of you who'd like to find the technical tools and the, and the uh, Trading methods that we teach at perfectstockler.com. So let me go up here to the technical section here. The trade school right here will have plenty of videos there to teach you the different methods that we use for trading. And then if you want to look at the particular charts that we track for you at perfectstockler.com, remember those are my personal charts and therefore they're updated every single night with the blue and black arrows. You can find them right here in the market charts section. Okay. God bless. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.